Hello and welcome to another video for Miles Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at something a little bit different. We're looking at the 2018 release by BBC Target Books. Um, now these Target Books are not the original Target releases, but these, these are the re revamped Target Books, which were the BBC started uh, to release in line with the new series of Doctor Who. Um, and the uh, these particular books are all based on uh, current Doctor Who um, television serials. And this particular one we were looking at today uh, is Twice Upon a Time, which was the Christmas uh, episode, which featured the 12th Doctor and the um, First Doctor. Okay, so this, and there's a particular reason why I wanted to do this one today, um, that some of these novels I don't actually, we don't actually usually um, shoot videos for and upload because you, you can't really see a great deal of the novels. Um, but there's a particular reason why I decided to do this one, and we'll see as we, as we move on. So it says, Doctor Who, Twice Upon a Time by Paul Cornell, and you've got the Target logo at the top right-hand corner. And there you can see an image of the 12th Doctor as portrayed by Peter Capaldi. And uh, you've got Bill Potts just below him. And to the right, you've got uh, the first Doctor um, as paid by David Brisley. Because uh, obviously William Hartnell passed away uh, back in the 70s. Okay, so that's the front of the book. Let's just turn the book over. And on the back, this is what it says. It says, Silly Old Universe. The more I save it, the more it needs saving. He says, still reeling from his encounter with the Cybermen, the first Doctor stumbles through the bitter Arctic wind, uh, resisting the approaching regeneration with all his strength. But as he fights this, his way through the snowdrifts, he, becomes, he comes across the familiar shape of a blue police box and a mysterious figure who introduces himself as the Doctor. Thrown together at their most vulnerable moments, the two Doctors must discover why the snowflakes are suspended in the sky, why a First World War captain has been lifted from his time stream moments before his death, and why is the mysterious glass woman who knows their true name, who is the mysterious glass woman that knows their true name. This novel is based on a Doctor Who story which was originally broadcast on 25th of December 2017 featuring the 12th Doctor as played by Peter Capaldi and the 1st Doctor as played by David Bradley um, and it's got the UK price uh, cover price of £6.99 US £9.99 Canada £14.99 it's science fiction based BBC Books and it's penguin.co.uk and you've got all the copyright information at the bottom and the barcode and if we just turn the box, the book to the side, it says Doctor Who Twice Upon a Time by Paul Cornell and BBC Books. OK, so that's the outside of the book. So I just open the page up. And this is a particular reason why I wanted to do this one, because you can see um, it's actually got on here. Hi, Joey. And it's autographed by Paul Cornell, the author. So this was the only reason why I actually wanted to do this a video on this particular book. Um, not to mention the fact that it's a very, very good story as well. So, uh, But anyway, it says, so it says Doctor Who, Twice Upon a Time. And it says, The Change of Face of Doctor Who. The cover illustration portrays the first Doctor Who, whose physical appearance was later transformed when he discarded his worn-out body in favour of a new one. Therefore, his features are in a state of flux. It also portrays the 12th Doctor, with whose physical appearance was changed when he was granted a new regeneration cycle by the Time Lords. And there we say, hi, Joey, um, Paul Cornell. So turn it over again, Doctor Who, Twice Upon a Time, based on the BBC television serial adventure, Twice Upon a Time by Stephen Moffat. And the novel is by Paul Cornell at BBC Books there. And over here, BBC Books, an imprint of Edbury Publishing, 20 Vauxhall Bridge Road, London, SW4. Uh, SW1V2SA. BBC Books is part of the Penguin Random House Group of Companies whose address can be found at globalpenguinrandomhouse.com. Um, Novelisation, copyright Paul Cornell 2018. Original script, copyright Stephen Moffat 2017. Paul Cornell has asserted his right to be identified as the author of this work in accordance with the Copyright Designs and Patents Act 1988. 
Doctor Who is a BBC Wales production for BBC One. Executive producer Stephen Moffat and Brian Minchin. First published by BBC Books in 2018. And you know, Penguin uh, website address uh, and so on. Editorial director, project editor and so on. And um, target uh, information at the bottom, printed and bound in Great Britain and the Penguin Random House info. So the contents of this book is an unexpected meeting. You've got a prologue then, the unexpected meeting, the captain inside the box, confrontations, cats and space adventures, the glass woman, escape to danger, a dance in the music of the Time Lords, the ruins, heart of glass, old friends and the tower. Uh, enter Rusty, a whirlpool in time, the hope and fears of all the years, the long way round, fear makes companions of all, us all, and the Doctor rises, and finally the epilogue. Uh, from Tom, Doctor, I let you go. So the prologue says, Once upon a time, 709 episodes ago, there was an old man who lived in a police box with his friends Ben and Polly. They had many adventures together, but then came one particular dangerous and exhausting encounter, one that the old man could not survive. So in a short, he didn't, but there was also a longer version for the story. One that took a long time to be told. One that the man himself didn't remember, not until right at the end. But he still ended up living happily ever after. There we go, and that's the prologue. And there we go, The Unexpected Meeting, that's where the novel starts. And it runs right through to uh, 161 pages. Um, and obviously, as, as we know, this was the final story to feature Peter Capaldi as the Doctor and I think this yeah the epilogue um, was after the regeneration so at the end of the story um, he says uh, laugh hard run fast he said to them be kind he stood there he adjusted his cuffs it was all going to be all right of course it was seeing who he was going to be he was suddenly filled with hope Doctor he said I let you go. He let the fire take him. And there the new doctor was, standing in clothes that were far too big, in uncomfortable boots, looking at the streaming mess that the regeneration process had made of the console. The wedding ring fell from the doctor's finger. It made a small noise as it fell to the floor of the TARDIS. OK, focus on one thing, one thing. Here was the monitor, which was buzzing with static, the image on it flickering. What was it to be this time? There was something different about this body. It wasn't there. Facing her was a young woman with a swish of blonde hair, astonishing eyes and a pleasing goofy grin. She stared at her reflection. Oh, she said. Brilliant. Change was possible. Change was here. What was she been worrying about just now? No idea. She hit the first button of a navigation sequence. The console exploded. Just for a moment, the doctor saw a warning flash onto the monitor screen. Systems crisis, multiple operations failures. Was there actually something wrong with the TARDIS? What had caused this? She didn't have another moment to think. The TARDIS spun violently, sending her head slamming into the deck. She watched as the gravity went wild, her library shells fall falling off the upper decks. She grabbed for the vents in the floor panels and managed to hold on as it went from being a floor to being a vertical wall with her hanging from it. Suddenly, the ship's doors burst open. The atmosphere inside the ship flew outward. At, at least, they must be somewhere not in the vortex. But she couldn't hold on against the new force grabbing at her, grabbing at her coattails. She flew towards the doorways. Her feet hit the edge of it. And as, as she desperately flailed to grab hold of something, anything. At the last second, her fingers grabbed hold. She managed to haul herself back up towards the console as all her books, her papers, all the records of her travels flew past her, falling into whatever was out there. She managed to get one hand now, both hands back on the console. She chanced to look back over her shoulder. OK, OK. All she had to do was... There came a sound from in front of her. She turned back to look. Fire burst up the central column of the console, cracking it as it went. The tremendous energy of the tires was about to. Light and sound erupted into her face, and the doctor flew backwards like an arrow towards the doors. 
her failing hands failed to grab at anything. She fell straight out through it like one of the billions of pieces of paper that were falling around her, behind her. Through the police box doors, she saw a fireball erupting, consuming everything inside. The light on the top of the box began to flash urgently and the sound of the TARDIS departure roared before the blast could keep leap out of it and consume her. Consume everything. The TARDIS vanished. The Doctor fell, arms cartwheeling below her. As she spun, she saw the lights of a city at night. It was just her now in a terrifying second without a TARDIS falling from what must be several thousand feet towards a completely unknown destination. Towards her future so that was the end of the capaldi era um and it started the uh era of jodie whittaker as the doctor um which ran i think she was the doctor for four uh roll right up to 23 actually so five years she was uh, the doctor for so a nice tenure again i thought she um wasn't given the respect that she deserved um, because she was a woman doctor, but even though I thought some of the storylines that she had were amazing, uh, as I have with all of the Doctor Whos. Uh, but as I say, the reason I wanted to do this one was because it is a, a, actually autographed by Paul Cornell, uh, the author of this um, Target novelisation. Um, so it's almost, I wouldn't say it's the only version, because it was a book signing event where we got this from. Um, so it's not unique, but it is a, it is a very, very rare uh, item so um overall the target range sells very well for the bbc um let's say if you've missed the books or you want to go more into detail in the story uh the books is are, are your answer really the the tv serials are, are condensed into the time frame that they have to um run but the books is pretty much unlimited and your mind is has no restrictions on the story as you read you picture it in your mind so um there's no budget restraints or anything like that but yeah the book sold very very well and they continue to do so with all the new novelizations that are coming out um and like i say finding this one with the uh, autograph on they're going to be few, very very few and far between but as usual we at minus touch have managed to find a few and they're currently available to purchase on the minus touch website which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other Doctor Who items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. It's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive you might want to miss this. Because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products, which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there's something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.